up guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today I thought I'd bring you around to the different places that Katie and I are going decoration shopping because it is finally that time of year. I'm ready to invest in some more Christmas decorations. So I'm headed off to Home Depot to go and meet her. I think we're gonna go to Home Depot, maybe Home Sense and Michaels, but we'll see how we do on time. So Katie does have to work this afternoon. I'm gonna start walking though, so I'm not super, super, super late. <laughs> I made it to Home Depot and found Katie, and everything's on sale, which I'm super stoked about because I was gonna buy things in October when I first saw things coming out, but it was just way too early, and now everything's on sale, so that's much better, much more preferable. Um, I need another set of lights, which I'm right in front of right now, for my bedroom, because I wanted to do a set of colored lights along the bedroom windowsill, and then there's also those really, really enormous like ornament balls, which are really, really cool. Can't remember if I told you guys last year, but my entire life I said ornament instead of ornament, and now I just feel like really betrayed that that's actually how you're supposed to say it. Did you know that? What? <laughs> that it's ornament and not ornament? Well, obviously I know that. That's how it is. <laughs> Shut up. Because <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> I don't know about you, but whenever I go shopping, I always try and like determine, oh yeah, that'll work there. I should just buy it. Yeah. But like, where would I need fucking LED lights? I would put them in the garden just to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so unnecessary, so wanted. The nice thing about Christmas these days is there's so many options for color scheme. Like growing up, you just did not have the choice of mm, blush pink. This is really pretty though. It's like a pine coney tree. I wanna put that by my television, depending on how expensive this is. How much are you? We found some good Christmas toys. <laughs> it's a must, Katie. It's just so jolly. Look at the choice. Great. What about the hamster? That's all we had as a kid, hey? It was the oh, choice yeah. of like the singing hamster. So nostalgic. Oh, I really should have gone through my Christmas stuff before going Christmas shopping because I only have ideas of what I purchased last year rather than knowing exactly my Christmas inventory. So I may purchase doubles of things but I do know that I would like a wreath holder because this year I'm gonna sneak a wreath up on my door. I don't think we're supposed to being in an apartment building, but too bad, so sad. And these ones have bells. So every single time someone leaves my house, it'll annoy me. We just came into Whole Foods to the coffee place that's in here to grab a coffee and I met a subscriber, her name is Victoria and she's at work. So hi Victoria, thank you so much for serving me. Uh, we're just gonna grab our coffees and then have a chat and then I'll be back with you Christmas shopping in a moment. So we came into London Drugs, yeah. and uh, looks like they have a lot of stuff on sale too. Katie said that Home Sense was really picked over, so I think we're gonna skip out on Home Sense. That's really cute. Precious. Is that actually a light in there? Yeah. That's so pretty. Every single year I make a promise that I'm gonna send Christmas cards, and every single year it comes to like the 10th of December, and I'm like, I didn't send Christmas cards. <laughs> Not one. But I received one from Taylor, and it was beautiful. I think I got it on like the first or second of December too. She's on her stuff. These things are pretty cool. Check this out. It has like glitter and lights when you turn the light on. Is it bad that I really would like to get an elf on the shelf just so I can put it in a different place for Glenn every day? <laughs> That's a thing, right? I love that they have like accessories for these things now. Oh yeah, 60% off. This is where I got my little taco decoration last year. Do you guys remember that? That's like the only decoration I bought. Maybe we can find a matching taco. Oh, there's a hamburger. Hey, Katie. Your jackknife decoration? Why? <laughs> why? What? Like, why? I don't wow. know. I don't know. That's a hefty piece of ornament, too. That's great. These are neat garlands. Different idea. Oh, they're just so pretty. I mean, I could make one, but I also don't have the time to do that. It's <laughs> time to cut up all that fabric. Right? Oh, yeah. Alpine oh, garland. What does alpine what is garland alpine? smell like? I don't know. Apples ish. Very alpine y? Yeah. Wait, there was one here that smelled like zest soap. Frosted evergreen. Like this is someone's job zest. to come up like with the names. <laughs> Frosted Bayberry. Vintage holiday. What? <laughs> That's not a flavor. I don't even know what that is. Smell. What? That doesn't this smell vintagey. Okay. It smells great, but it doesn't vintage. have any correlation between vintage holiday and that scent. Check out these like little makeup case things. Aren't these cute? 
Here, open it up. Let me see inside. That's oh, actually that's pretty damn size, good. Too. Good size, and it's 60% off. I wish it was more bendy. I know what you mean. You're not supposed to bend it, Katie. All your products can't bend. My products all bend. <laughs> Damn it, I should have just bought one of these like cheap little elf things rather than spending $30 on an elf on a shelf with a brand name. Oops, a daisies. I feel like I talked about this last year, but isn't it crazy that you can buy like children's cardboard boxes now that are like actual made boxes? <laughs> like back in the day, we used to get a dishwasher box and be happy with that. And now they have like pre-mapped out freaking gingerbread houses for children. I do this every time. I should have got a freaking shopping cart. I'm like overloaded. <laughs> I need to find the gold foil. Um, I don't know if you guys follow Dirty Teacups online. Uh, her real name's Morgan. She does these amazing makeup looks. I'll um, insert one in right now. But she uses this gold foil and I think that she buys it here. And I'm always like, I just need to do that. I should find it. I found the glitter, but I don't know where this foil is. Every time I come to Michael's, I wander around justifying. Yeah, I could craft at that. I'd totally use that. Like. This, I've almost bought it several times. It's like a heat transfer, shiny, beautiful holographic thing. But like, honest to God, when would I ever use that? I'm not a crafty person. I don't just do crafts regularly. So I like walk around basically justifying like, oh, I could totally use that for Shambhala, or I could use that for this, or I could do that. And then I end up having these random pieces of craft material at home that sit in a drawer. Okay, Katie went off to work. Home I go with all of my stuff. I don't know why I didn't bring reusable bags. That just was not very smart on my part. Um, I will talk to you guys at home and we'll go through what I purchased. Fussy jackets are great in theory, but man am I sweating. Lola and I wanted to go through the Christmas stuff that I got. Specifically, Lola seems to want to go through this. Look at her. She's like, what's in here? What is this? Did you buy anything for me? Oh goodness. So let's go through what I got. At Home Depot, I got this beautiful pine cone style Christmas tree. Uh, it has a little tiny gold ends. I love that. I thought it was super cute. I think I'm going to put this up near my television, but we'll see how that goes. But I got this, and everything that I got was on sale. Like, every single thing, or else I wouldn't have bought it. Because Christmas stuff is expensive, and I just, I need to get it on sale, okay? I got a wreath holder with bells. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm supposed to have a wreath outside our apartment door, but... I'm gonna do it and then if I get called on it then I'm just gonna put it up somewhere in one of the rooms in the house so we'll see how I go on that but I got that and then I got those big Christmas decoration balls and I already have glitter all over me bane of my existence uh, I got a big one like this and I think what I'm gonna do Katie gave me the idea to hang them on the roof so in one of the corners I'm gonna like thumbtack into the roof with some fishing wire and then like hang these at different heights so I got this one and I got a, just a basic more round one. And then I'm gonna look for a third one that's maybe like even more of like an oblong shape or something like that. But that'll be my next kind of quest for maybe like home sense or something. And the last thing I got at Home Depot was just some more lights. I wanted multicolor lights for the bedroom. Those are really cheap. They're like four or five bucks for like an eight foot long set of lights, which is pretty damn good. And then at London Drugs, I bought a very overpriced elf on the shelf. Um, Reasoning for being okay with like buying a couple of like keepsake Christmas things is I think we're gonna have kids in the next like couple of years So I keep thinking like if I start building my Christmas and like decoration and supplies basically now Then I'll have things for when we have a family rather than be like oh my god quick We have to buy decorations because I feel like I should be Christmasier. You know does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Anyways elf on the shelf looks like this I probably should have just bought the cheaper ones at Michael's that isn't like Elf on the Shelf brand, but so be it. Now I have it, and we can leave this around the house for Glenn because I think that'll be actually hilarious. Hi, you. Come here. Next thing was this star, this light-up star. I've wanted one of these for the last couple of Christmases, but they're usually really expensive. Uh, it was 25 bucks, and it was on sale for 10 so, I mean, good price. That's why I got it. But I like these. I think they're really cute. I also got a little gingerbread man kind of weight thing. I think I'm going to put this in the kitchen because he has a little hat on. You think that's for you, don't you? She gets so offended when she thinks that things like this is a toy and it's for her, but then I don't give it to her. She's like, she'll be pissed for days. She'll actually sit like in front of where I've placed it in the house and she'll just stare up at it. The last thing that I got from London Drugs was some window gels. 
Um, I don't remember if you guys saw my Halloween house tour, but I love window gels. I think they're really fun. They remind me of my childhood because that was something that we totally did. So I like them. Anyways, I got a Christmas tree and a snowman. And then at Michael's, I got a candlestick holder. And I need to now find a candlestick to go in said candlestick holder. But I thought it was a cute one and a red one. I don't really have like full blown Christmas theme colors, but I don't know, I think like the traditional like reds and golds and like those types of colors are kind of more the prevalent colors in our apartment. I needed to get a throw pillow because I absolutely love how Kaylin Nicholson has different seasonal throw pillows. It just inspires me so much because it looks so cute. So I got one that is meet me under the mistletoe that apparently Lola really enjoys looks like this and I really like it. For the tree decorations, I found these ones and I liked them because they reminded me of like Whoville decorations. They look like this. I don't know, I thought that they were kind of whimsical and cute and they were really cheap. So if I don't end up loving them, then I might not continually use them for my tree, but I mean, they look pretty good, so I got them. They had a ton of those different garlands at Michael's and I ended up grabbing this one. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cute. It looks like homemade and like Christmas colors. I think that I might put this above our bed. Or it could be a Lola scarf. Let me see. Let me do it as a scarf. Oh, yes. <laughs> you look like Simba. Oh, I should the lovely the dog. Speak. Ho. Speak. Ho. Bought a cookie tin because I feel like we should do a baking video and I needed to put the cookies in something right so I got a baking tin these just they fully remind me of Christmas that is my Christmas thing baking tin and then in the last bag I got a little mini like tinsel tree for my beauty room uh, it's all like squished up but I thought it'd be kind of cute to get like a little red Christmas tree and put that over near my Gilmore Girls poster because I thought that the yellow of that would work with the red of this you know, matchy matchy, but not. I got a little thing of bells. I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna put them. I might use these as the decoration on those little trees, but we'll see. And then I got a really cute little wooden thing. I love these. I don't know what it is. I'm just, I'm a nut for organizational things. I think that this is super cute, though I have no idea what I'm gonna put in it or where it's gonna go, but I was like, it's really cute, so I should probably get it, and it was on sale, so. Mine. I got a little set of snowflake uh, decorations. It's in gold. They look like that. There's eight of them. They were also on sale. And then last but not least, I bought a wreath. And it's just like a plain basic one. And I thought that if I found little things that I could kind of like decorate it with, that I would maybe do a little wreath decorating video with you guys. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I made one with Obi in my old apartment in Vancouver like probably eight or nine years ago, and it went really, really well, so I think I might try and decorate this. All right, that's it. That is all the Christmas decorations that I purchased today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog slash haul video. Uh, I'm gonna do a completely separate video of decorating the tree and decorating the apartment, so look out for those in the coming weeks. I hope that you enjoyed, and we will see you in a video very soon. Say bye, Loli. Bye.